statements are late. Now, I know exactly the reasoning. Every organization has it. Well, this is just a volunteer work. That's it. Okay, now, in the same constitution and bylaws of PIDC, what does it say? The auditor must audit the statements within what period? If you're familiar with it, are you? Well, the, the, the year that they're they assigned, right? The year? Yeah. Okay, you said November? 2010. 2010. So the deadline would, should have been November 2011. Right. If we are to follow the Constitution. But then I said, uh, you know, the, the classic reasoning is, the classic reasoning is, well, that's just a volunteer word. Now, the thing is this. You submitted that you said in November 20, 2010. When they had a press conference, how come Mindaneri, if she made the allegation and did, did not even made it clear to the press, I'm sorry I wasn't there. I did not know what really transpired. Who made the allegation on what or which, from whom did it originally come? Mm -hmm. Now, how come she never clarified to the media who were present there? Well, I cannot answer that. You have to ask her yourself. Let me say one thing. You know, I wasn't there. I read these things on the paper. On uh, I watched it from Romy's YouTube. Okay? From what I understand, there was nothing alleged against you, the PIDC, until that press conference. Am I right? Right. Now, when I was watching Romy's uh, YouTube, or I don't know whose, whose, whose report was that, but at any rate, I think it was Tess who made the, 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 uh, the matter to, 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 um, to be touched upon. Okay, Tess, you were there in the press conference, yes, I was. right? Yeah. What did they say exactly? I'm sorry I wasn't there. Because they were telling us that they didn't have any money. I was questioning how come the pageant was the most profitable business in the, uh, in the pageant was taken away by somebody without any, you know, money coming it, coming from it. And I already told them that I was making $10,000 a year for one pageant. It was just comparing what you have and what I have. And they just took your, their word. They took your word that there was no money in it. They took my word? That's what I was questioning. Why did they take your word? Okay. Uh, I okay. never said anything. Rosemary, excuse me. If that was the case... Because, you know, she was answering my question, right? That was the case, Tess. Uh, you were saying that their word was that there was no money in it. So in the same manner, they were not ready for the financial statements, right? Because, you know, they had not conducted an audit yet. So how come that statement cropped up in the media? Uh, let, me, let me clarify. I think uh, from, from the way I understand it... Can uh, I say something? I drove all the way from Mississauga, and these two gentlemen will usurp the floor. I might as well go home. So why don't you? Thank you. Well, can I say something? No, why don't you go home? Well, can I have my turn? Are you a member of the media? You're not a member of the media. You're not a media member of the media, I'm sorry. Yeah, but you're I receive an invitation. invitation. No, you're just a member of the media. I receive an invitation. He's supposed to be a press conference. Maybe you can have the honor. Yeah, have your turn. Shut up. One by one. Thank you. 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 OK. Uh, from the way I understand it, uh, Mindaneri did not mention any amount. What she said was that you have not submitted a financial report from the very time that you were sitting as uh, whatever chair of uh, the pageant. That is not true. That's what is true? As I mentioned in my statement, all financial documents of the pageants are being submitted within three to four months <coughs> upon completion. So did you submit? Of course. So why did it take you two and a half years to respond to these issues? Right. There was no issues before. As yeah, far as I can remember, as far as I can remember, I submitted a statement November 2010 to Altupe, and I told them specifically if there were any questions or inquiries to inform me 
And since then, I have not received any responses or any inquiries for, um, to, from Altupe or anybody from uh, PIDC regarding financial statements be, uh, there's a, if there's anything wrong with it so until are you, now. Are you being honest and truthful? Of course. In your statement? <laughs> of course, Romy Marquez. <laughs> Okay, I said wrong things for to say, but you know, can you give uh, can you the, the floor to Mr. Yeah. Padilla? Okay, Padilla. can you um, identify yourself, please? Um, my name is Carlos Padilla from Sisaga. The reason I'm here is uh, I am interested in this issue. I am not here to side anybody. It's like some people in Sisaga said I'll be here to be on the side of tests because they know they've had a problem before with June, but we settled with June. Now I have an ongoing problem with test. That's why they thought I'll be siding with June, but I, I guarantee you after my problem with test, we will be good friends. I am here because I want to know why this happened. Because I think in my involvement with the community, this must be the third or fourth time something like this happened. Why haven't we changed? My question, my first question will be this. I, was, I listened to you when you submitted your report November 2010. This was during, who was the president at that time? Uh, uh, Linda Mary. Mm -hmm. And she's not present today despite your invitation. Yes. I would like to ask the press, did you talk to Linda Mary on an open forum like this where she can defend herself? Because she mentioned a while ago that there was a press conference called by PIDC <coughs> in March 2010 or 2012. And you were not there. In other words, you felt you were stabbed in the back because you were not there to protect yourself. So I suggest if they ask you questions, if you want to stand their back, make it even. Answer, answer it. But I agree with you. If you cannot defend your position in the financial statement because you have submitted it already to the treasurer, did the auditor audit? Who was the auditor in the first place? 2010. Body eBay. Body eBay, yes. Well, okay, did Buddy uh, review your statement and made an, uh, an <coughs> report, an opinion on your statement, financial statement that you submitted? Oh, first of all, who, sub who prepared the financial statement? Okay, first, uh, this is our procedure, right? Um, when I uh, chair a pageant, uh -huh. I submit everything, the receipts, the okay. supporting documents. Receipt and revenues. And uh, what do you call that? A credit and debit statement. And I submit everything to the treasurers. So when I submit these things to the treasurer, I would inform the treasurer if there's any discrepancies, please let me know because I'm not an accountant, I'm not a bookkeeper myself. So if I don't hear from you, then I would assume that everything is okay. Fair enough. Right? So I haven't heard from them since November 2010 until today that we <coughs> on the press con. They March know, in 2012, they found out that you didn't make money? <laughs> I mean, I, because like I said, this happened before. In fact, I have a court case because of accountability and transparency issue. And if we are not going to solve this by having all parties together, like get Mindanari and PIDC and everything, and your people on your side, have an open forum like this, this, how are we going to clear this? And may I suggest to the press, something like this, I am glad that we started this. You expose it. Because this is what I've been praying for since 15 years ago, that I requested the press to use your power of the pen. I suggested that you should write in your editorials something like this, because the press can form the opinion of the public. That's if right. something anomalous like this happened, and the publish and the publishers are vigilant enough to write it in 2010, we won't be here today. Therefore, what I propose to do is call another press conference <coughs> with Mindanari and their group, with the auditors present. To be honest, I'm sorry because I I, I both know the treasurer and the treasurer. I, they did not know that I'll be here. Al Tupi told me to be here uh, Friday because he had a meeting. But I called him back and told him, hey, I'm not representing you. I'm not representing AFCA. I am there as an independent person because they know that this topic is close to my heart. Transparency. Can you take more questions, please? Okay. So, can you... If nobody else will ask any question, she cannot answer the financial statement. She's not an accountant. 
People responsible no, let, the let, one who prepared the financial let, statement. Let, let that come from okay, her, not from you. Yeah, let us 